and that's honestly something that I never thought that I was going to share on the channel, but I thought that it was time. So I think you know what's about to happen in three, two, one. What's going on guys? Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help you take that passion for making music and turn it into an actual legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment. Now, in this video, I'm gonna address something that I spoke about in my last video, which is the freedoms of things, the freedom of choice, right? Having different options aside from music, just in case at the end of the day, music isn't for you full time, but what happens when it is? then what's holding you back? And that's something that we're gonna talk about right now. We're gonna dive right in. Because the fear of failure holds so many of us back. Now this has been talked about since the dawn of time, but not the way that I'm gonna talk about it this way. So stay tuned. Now, first and foremost, I wanna say that everyone is entitled to fail and everyone should be encouraged to fail. Now, what do I mean by that? In my almost 34 years of life on this earth, I have gone through several pretty epic failures. Some failures that some people wouldn't be able to bounce back from. And I'll share, with, share those with you in time. But one thing I do wanna share with you guys is something that I started back in 2016. And that was my clothing line that I started, which a lot of you guys were a part of that journey. It was called Just Be and still exists. But I think you guys understand where I'm going with this. See, I had an idea that I wanted to do a physical product business. I wanted to prove that my marketing prowess was good enough to get this thing off the ground and, and thrive. <sighs> video indigestion strikes back. Hashtag video indigestion in the comments below. Anyway, I started this brand all by myself. And until this day, I've only had a couple people help me with it kind of part time. Now I've done over $40,000 in sales, but guess what? I invested about $42,000 into the actual business. And to this day, I have a garage full of inventory. Now, is it to say that it's dead? By no means. And to a lot of people, quite honestly, I did break even. So I have so much to be thankful for when it comes to the blood, sweat, tears, all the sweat equity that I put into this business on top of dumping money after money after money. The truth is when the money came in, I put it right back into the business. I had a slow season two. You guys were absolutely amazing with your orders and I support every single one of you guys who believe in having a dream, starting a t-shirt company, starting a clothing company. I made some missteps. One being I was still had a foot in the marketing field, the foot in the music field while I was trying to do that all by myself up until one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning packing orders. And like I said, it's a lot of fun, but I wasn't afraid to, to fail. And to this day, that's one of the most valuable lessons. I'll promise you this. The lessons that I learned from being to where I am in the business, because it still exists and I do still get orders on occasion, but I don't really push it because it's on the back burner. Why is it on the back burner? Because I'm chasing my passions. I'm following things that give me fulfillment, such as these videos right here, being able to bring that to you. Now, I share this with you because this is something that I've kind of held close to my chest and behind the scenes, even though some people realized that I wasn't pushing it anymore. And they were like, oh, what's going on with your brand? And I was working on a season three and I kind of just realized that I was bleeding so much money without it coming back in that I just kind of needed to stop the, stop the wound as far as like sampling and all that good stuff. One of my good friends, John Phenom, I talked to him recently on the phone. We had a really good conversation. He's a clothing apparel guru. In fact, if you guys want to see him on this channel, we can easily make that collab happen. Let me know in the comments below as far as like starting a clothing line, apparel line and stuff. I'm trying to keep it music based. But what I'm saying is if I would have never jumped into doing music, if I wouldn't have sold a 2000, what was it? A 2001, 2002 uh, CBR 929 that I had saved up all my money for knowing that I needed the money from that motorcycle to buy my first little studio setup. I bought an old Dell laptop. I've told you guys the story before. The, the laptop literally had 512 megabytes of RAM. It had like a 80 gig hard drive if that. I'd be surprised if that was actually the spec. But I had sold a motorcycle, quit my job, and this is at 21 years old around there, 2006, where I said, you know what? I need to be able to dive feet first into this. I need to be able to go all in and I had a job my bills weren't that high at the time, but I said, you know what? I need to sell this motorcycle and re really uh, chase the passion, really develop that skill. And I knew that working 12 hours a day at a wood window factory, uh, second shift up in, you know, I wouldn't get home till two or three in the morning most nights, wasn't gonna do it. So I quit that job, started making beats every day. I said, you know what? At the end of the day, I have a skill set now. I've been a carpenter for four years. This is stuff I've 
probably never shared with you guys. I was a carpenter for four years, a union carpenter, I was a union steward. Uh, I had a job that most people twice my age, in fact, I was in charge of people twice my age in my department, but I'm not gonna go into all that. What I'm saying is you can reinvent yourself. You can have another life. So many people would have thought that I'd just be a carpenter the rest of my life in a wood window factory because I was good at it and I enjoyed it. But I knew that there was more to life than that. That's why I started pursuing music. When I first moved to Florida, I had never been to Florida before, let alone moving down here sight unseen. And guess what? I took the rest of the money that I had from that motorcycle, which I know a lot of you guys might have to save up or be resourceful to be able to do something like that. I, I, I'll tell you right down to that I had $3,400. I packed up everything that I could into a, a 94 Nissan Altima and I drove to Florida on April 20 something, uh, 2007. Understanding that there needed to be more than what I had experienced. All of these things, if I would have been afraid to, fear, uh, afraid to fall, afraid to fail, I wouldn't be in front of you right now. If I would have quit my YouTube channel when I was stuck on 16,000 subscribers for two years. In fact, I told this story in a recent video where I had 16,000 subscribers and then it went down to 15,000 some odd subscribers for two years. No matter how many videos I put out, I know I have X amount of videos on my channel now, but I've, I've put a ton of them on unlisted or private and I've also deleted a ton over the years because there was times I was just throwing stuff against the wall trying to figure out what would work on this channel until I discovered a career in music, till I discovered a career in marketing. That's the thing. If you get discouraged and you're willing to quit, there's somebody that's going to get discouraged and get motivated by it. The fear of failure absolutely paralyzes people. There's a saying called the paralysis by analysis. Now that just means that you overthink things so much that you don't actually ever do anything because you're afraid to fail. But you gotta think on the other side. We always have to try to be optimistic when we're pursuing anything, let alone music. So I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to keep it back to home, back to music. When you're making music and it makes you feel a certain sort of way and you say, you know what? I don't care how much money this brings me. I don't care where I end up living. I want to do this for the rest of my life. Whether you're a musician and you want to gig the rest of your life, whether you're a producer and you just want to be in the studio. Maybe you're a rapper and you want to do that for let's say 10 years and then use the money that you had from that to buy a quadplex and then you, you know, slowly but surely you become a real estate guy. This is the thing about life. We can constantly evolve ourselves, but we can't do that if we're afraid. We can't do that if we're afraid to step outside that comfort zone of where you currently are. Now, a lot of people carry around a security blanket from when they're a little baby and they don't tell anybody about it. The thing could be super ratty, could be in, in tattered, all, all tattered up, but for some reason that makes them feel safe. And I know that misery is a lot of your guys' safety blankets. You come home from a job that you absolutely hate, making not enough money to actually enjoy life. And yet you keep going back because it's more money than the what if. I understand, I've been there. But when you can see past that and say, you know what, I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm very resourceful. You know, I'm gonna do another video in the future. The, 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 the difference between being, having resources and being resourceful, right? Resourcefulness is completely different skill set than having resources. And I'm gonna go into that. In fact, I have a lot of really, really exciting videos that I have just over on my uh, glass dry erase board right off to the left of me um, that I'm really excited to share, but they're actually they're a little bit higher quality when it comes to the different B-roll and the production quality. It's more involved than these videos. And in fact, I'm trying to make this a one take so you guys can really be with me in my, train, my, my pure train of thought rather than an edited up version of this. You know, I have a mentorship program as well as an online course that's not publicly available right now. And a lot of people will go to my YouTube channel and say, well, you're just trying to pitch this. That's not, that's not true at all. I'm trying to put out content for you guys to get to, from where you are now a little bit further and help be a part of that process. So many of you have sent me amazingly kind and warming emails and DMs over on Instagram just with your progress with even words of, of, of kindness, like I just had mentioned, saying, Adam, I was ready to give up and I saw a few of your videos and now I'm doing better than ever. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be $10,000 a month, does it? In order to have some fulfillment in your life. In the beginning of this video, I said freedom and fulfillment. Those are two things that are more important than almost anything in your life. Because if you spend an entire life not feeling fulfilled, what's it worth? If you don't feel free, what's it worth? And I'm not gonna get into a political rant about freedom and all this stuff, but you understand where I'm coming from. When you do what you love and you share your talents with the world, you're gonna get some fulfillment out of that. If dealing with people with special needs is a calling for you, 
and you're volunteering at the Special Olympics at uh, assist, not assisted living, I guess it could be assisted living, quite honestly, or you become an EDS, EDS, EDEM, uh, you get what I'm saying, uh, special needs uh, teacher or assistant, those people don't make much money. In fact, some of the most rewarding careers in the world don't pay a whole lot. Just ask any EMT or firefighter, which if I was a politician, they would get a whole lot more money. But anyway, fearing failure is absolutely paralyzing. If you don't know now that you want to jump into music, if you don't know now that you're talented, if you don't know now that you want to do this, you need to look at yourself in the mirror like right after you're done watching this video and ask what you want out of life. What makes you happy? You know, I feel like a big brother. I feel like a, like a mentor passively to so many of you guys. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm, I'm getting up there. Not like old, I don't feel old by any means, but I'm, I'm you know, turning 34 next month. Side note, actually this month, this month, side note, my birthday goal is 100,000 subscribers and I'm at like 90 as you're watching this video. So in the comments below, let me know that if you're subscribed, let me know if you subscribe. That's all I'm asking for for my birthday. Please, 100,000 subscribers, I think we can do it. We have like 20 something days. So please, please, let me water your plants. Anyway, that's if, if you get that reference, let me know in the comments below. Guys, the fear of failure, everything that's worth life, living, everything that's worth having, all those learning experience, uh, experiences that I'm like not able to talk are on the other side of fe uh, fear, on the other side of the opportunity to fail. And I position it like that because being able to fail, having the opportunity to fail, means that you stepped up to the fucking plate. You can't strike out if you never step up to the plate. And yet so many people, oh, there's a, there's a great um, Wayne Gretzky quote that I, I live by to this day. It's, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So me as an introvert, I get afraid of some social in, in, environments, right? I get not afraid, but kind of intimidated. No matter how much money I make, no matter how many of you subscribe to the channel, 100,000 by April 25th, that's my birthday. I still get afraid of certain things. I have my own fears and I've, I've been afraid to fail, but not anymore. I'm not afraid to fail. That's why I started doing these videos. I said, you know what? If nobody watches, I'm still getting fulfilled because I know that there's gonna be five or six people out there that I absolutely changed their life. Now, speaking of changing life, a quick little pitch. I fixed the application process to the mentorship um, strategy call thing that I've, I've been mentioning here and there on the, on the channel. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time, but if you want a free strategy call, I have an application. All you gotta do is, I'm gonna put a thing up on the screen right now so you can connect with me and we can work one-on-one, -on -one, hopefully. Just submit the application, it's super easy. And all the bugs are ironed out. And I have something real special for those who uh, have the strategy call anyway. I'll put it up on the screen. I'd love to work with you and hear from you. Anyway, the fear of failure is gonna hold so many of you guys back. Yet right next to us, we can, we can be in control of if it's gonna hold us back. Because the world is made up of the majority. You know, you always hear that you always hear, hear the people on TV complaining about the 1%. Complaining that the 1% have too much money. That the 1% is holding everybody else back. That the 1% has more money collectively in that 1% than the rest of everyone combined. Well, that's success. That's any industry, any major leader, any major success, any major athlete is the 1%. You know why? They weren't afraid to fail. And I believe that you could be in the 1%. I believe that I could be in the 1%. The 1% doesn't have to be a bad thing. Don't let media tell you that it is. Because the 1% was made for you. The 1% was made for me and we want, we want to hang out up in the 1% and be able to give back to our community. So many people have this preconceived notion that money is a bad thing, right? But guess what? Look at Bill Gates. He's donated billions of dollars to help people. Look at Akon. Donated millions of dollars to help people bring water and electricity to third world countries. When you make a whole lot of fucking money, you can make a whole lot of fucking difference. If you're a piece of shit, the money's not going to change that no matter how much money you have. Anyway, guys, I hope that this brought a little bit of insight, a little bit of perspective, maybe motivation, inspiration. I don't know. If you haven't yet, I really would love for you guys to uh, smash the thumbs up button. My birthday gift, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that bell icon to become 
uh, be one of the first to be notified anytime I upload a video just like this, even if I ramble and stutter. Now, as always, I'm gonna suggest the video right over here that I handpicked for you to go to next, but that I think will be a great uh, addition to what you just watched here. Now, as always, all my contact information will be in the description box below. I'd love to see you over on Instagram, and until next time, you can find me at adamivy.com.